Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Choose to Lose campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the hardest difficulty with less soldiers, less equipment, less hit points and stronger enemies. It's time for Operation Swamp Child. I feel <clears throat> that Swamp Child is a mission name that I sort of get in every playthrough so this time fittingly it is another retaliation mission. The hunter is going to visit us together with Chrysalid's gatekeeper, which is a pretty nutty enemy in itself. But we also have Elite Priest, Advanced Mechs, Advanced Guardian, so quite a bit of higher level um, Advent as well. <clears throat> On top of which, uh, the only um, part of our Prime Force will be uh, Primus here. He's still trying to get that highest rank. Elsewise, we have uh, the reoccurring, uh, I would say, B-team at this point, Zirkim, Toxic, Zukuger, and Lockdown, which are trying to do their best in order to pr uh, prevent a total disaster. Let's see if we can uh, save the civilians and eventually get out of uh, there alive. That would be my goal. Maybe, of course, maybe. We're not going to do that. Uh, mm, yeah, it all depends on how well the B-team is playing. Good, so on the grander scheme of things, we're on our way to the end game ish We got an armor upgrade, which is going to help us quite a bit. And most of the weapons are plasma tier. We're still going to continue with that. Until everything's highest tier, of course, and then we can get some new toys. Well, look at that. Chrysalids. We're immediately going in. I hope that they would trigger. Of course, they are not. Well. That is unfortunate. Hmm. I want high ground with our sniper. Can we get it somehow? Hmm. That's not optimal. Okay, good. We're taking Zirkim. And let's do blue moves first. We got an elite gunslinger with us, thanks to the continent bonus. We got Zukuger. Moves all the way up here. We got Toxic and we got Lockdown, our sniper. Siakim can move up because he's still well hidden, as in concealed. We're going to take advantage of that. And mainly everybody else is just going on to Overwatch. So far the pack is not triggered. Three chrysalids are a serious threat, so we should be careful here. Oh, wow, 15 crit. That would be a one shot for most of our soldiers. Can't fully reach these guys. What? More chrysalids? Oh my lord. Well, let's start with those three here. Good. They are well in position. So having 15 hit points and shredding as a starter. It's a pretty good start.
What? The elite guard uh, sling, uh, the elite gunslinger has lightning hands and face off. How is that even fair? That's a fantastic setup. Okay, well, we're going to test that. Okay, so this guy has all the right tools. Wow. Good, he misses. That's, but that's not the point. Cool. See, that's how I get to know all of uh, the new advents by essentially playing them myself. Bef uh, because whenever, whenever we're meeting them, they don't get the chance to live as long. <clears throat> Chrysalid Hunters. Okay, seven to eight points of damage that could kill all three, but I don't think that we that, that we would need to do that. Instead, let's give up our concealment. This guy has the most hit points. Fantastic. So Cougar moves up. He's still got theoretically overdrive if needed. Okay, I suppose we need overdrive. That's unfortunate. Good. So that is five hit points. Even if he dodges, he would die. And with a hundred percent hit chance, he cannot dodge. Fantastic. I'm, I'm trying to be mindful with our resources, which is why we're not immediately getting all of those guys down. Oh, he crits for 15. If we if we were hit with that, although we now have plated armor, so we might even survive. We got like what two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, exactly fifteen hit points. Wow. Good. Moving up. It's unclear if these guys are over here or if they are over there. And not even our sniper can see them. Rolling. That's my trigger. And I'm, I, I hope that it would trigger because <clears throat> we need to kill those guys. Sing a chrysalid, okay, cool. Good to go. Reloading the bolt caster. And here we go. Gotta give it to the weapon animation. It looks crisp. We're slowly but surely <coughs> moving up. That's another chrysalid hunter. And how about we're moving all the way up here? There's a bit of line of sight blocking going on, but still, we do have high ground. Primos, on the other hand, really moves up all the way to here. This unit doesn't get winded. We're doing a bit of an overwatch. Watching 
comes naturally. And I think for now, Zirkin can also just overwatch. Those guys are definitely our next pack that I would like to engage. Lots of chrysalids. Okay, well... One thing that we can do is save civilians, I suppose. Let's do scanning protocol and see if there is a face uh, around them. <coughs> Here should not reveal us. Don't look back. As long as we're not hitting a faces one, things are good. As you order, Commander. Okay. We eventually are getting there. Moving into range so that we can see the face this one. Can our Advent colleague rescue uh, the civilians? No, they cannot, okay. Well, that's unfortunate. But we can soften the face this one up. It's burning. Plus, has taken a lot of damage, which is perfect. And this should kill him. How many of you have All right, toxic moves up. Good, we're up to four rescued citizen. We got another one over here, which we can rescue next turn. <coughs> then there are still a couple of civilians here. On the move. But so far, so good. This did not trigger yet, but those two would be the next pack. We're kind of getting uh, going in a in a pretty solid order. Okay, so. As I was saying earlier, time to rescue more. Fantastic. Good. Now there is no longer a major timer on this mission. <clears throat> we know that there are more chrysalids, fair enough, and we know there is a massive pack that we have to deal with, but both of uh, these obstacles are to be overcome, that's fine. Good, moving up. over there 
moving up. I'm as graceful as a gazelle. All right, this triggers, which is fine. Again, not the end of the world. Just wanted to be careful. That's why we are always blue moving first, or even starting to entertain an Overwatch. <clears throat> Solid kill. Target neutralized. I think we can still kill this guy. <clears throat> we don't need help. I'm going to need more ammunition. Yeah, if that wouldn't have um, worked, we could have always comment protocol. Moving to here next turn, we're going to take the high ground up there. There is nowhere to hide. Did we just trigger? Yes, we did. Damn it, there's yet another pack. Okay, wow. Into a massacre out there, Commander. That camp is getting wiped out. Got free reload. The question is, what are we going to do with all of our options here? We definitely need to deal with all of uh, the advent first. So, if we were to use a nice little plasma um, grenade, that would at least deal with both of these guys. And then we can take it from there. Reload. And we're taking a plasma grenade. That's removing cover, sh uh, shreds, and will give us a perfect angle on all of them. Uh, did I just give them volatile mix instead? Well, good job, Saiken. That was fantastic. What I really wanted to showcase here is how double grenades <coughs> can kill those two folks. This is for you. I mean, it's not the worst turn ever, because we needed to do the incendiary grenades anyways. And you can indeed see how <coughs> this is completely shredding them. Good high ground. By the numbers. Uh, 
our expandable resource will move a bit further in. Lightning, ho um, lightning hands quick draw. There we go. And we're moving all the way up into half cover. Primus, on the other hand, jumps up. High ground for better odds to hit. Overdrive. And the real problem, of course, is the gatekeeper here. That's unfortunate, but we couldn't mark him. That's as much shredding as I can get done this turn. We are moving up. Careful. Still very careful. We could deal with the purifier, I suppose. I mean, yeah, why not? Let's try to get the purifier. That's a solid hit. That's a miss. Let's try that again. going to reconceal thinking about staying concealed because what uh, what is uh, this guy really going to do not much right we're going to stay concealed that way we're also not being hit by gateway which might happen and let's improve our defenses by <clears throat> handing over an aid protocol to primos here Making it less likely for him to get hit. Okay, we got a new prime target because we can't let the chrysalid just go unchecked. Luckily, the gatekeeper just damaged the chrysalid, <laughs> which is hilarious and stupid at the same time. The time for hiding is over. Are you kidding me? Oh, wow. Okay, well. It's up. It's on, guys. It is absolutely on. We might want to fall back a tiny bit. First things first, though. <clears throat> if I can haywire this guy and get him on our side, the course of the battle will look plenty different. Very good. Very good. Haywire protocol is so good. By the way, if that would have failed, it wouldn't have been the end of the world. We still can fall back and like slowly draw them into us. Psy zombie. Chrysalid hunter. Okay. That's two, four, six, seven, eight. Yep, that's a kill. And I think for now we're just going to take what we can get. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's 
excuse me. Eventually moving up a bit closer. Can we get up? No, we can't. We go into full cover in here. Yep, that's uh, still okay. very much visible. Okay, cool. We're ignoring all of the Psy zombies. Our target is the gatekeeper. Falling a tiny bit back to here. <clears throat> Still on high ground. We can't take cover anyways. So let's let's wait until he closes his beloved shell. We're marking him. Some good damage. Fantastic. The reason why I wanted to wait until he closes his shell is we're shredding three armor. I wanted to shred three instead of two. There we go. Can't really help on this side. What I can do is, there is a stun lancer, and I can try to block the entrance so that he can't really stun lance. I must move quick. No place for you to go now. Are you kidding? What? Okay. <clears throat> okay. I'm not. I'm not even going to be mad. I should have known. Okay. Wow. Well. We're even adding those uh, guys. I sh I just should have known. I should have manually walked in there. Didn't do that. That was my mistake. Elite Lancer. We're doing a nice little overwatch here. And I need DPS. Lots and lots and lots of it. Half cover is not good enough. <coughs> so. I mean, we can move over here. And try to get down the Mac. Our main target still, of course, is the gatekeeper, but the problem is it just has too many hit points, it won't die. Let's for now do an overwatch, we're going to be spotted out, and that full cover position here isn't the worst, it's actually a pretty decent one. Blade Storm into Shotgun. Shotgun? Shotgun? Okay. Tentacles? No. The double moves. That was unexpected. He did not think that we would be there, so... Naturally, he was like, wow, what the fuck's going on? Luckily, we have technical analysis. Not so lucky for us. We're going to lose our hack. Yep, hack is lost. 
Oh my gosh. And now the Lancing happens. I'm still deeply regretful of the uh, choice to just let him walk there. And we gotta deal with the Sun Lancer next. This guy is an absolute menace to society. We're going to <clears throat> kill him and the gatekeeper. Unfortunately, the heavy mech is no longer on our side. That is pretty regretful. Okay, the zombies of course are a problem, <clears throat> but that was... I mean, that is expected. You don't want to deal with zombies. It's not looking bad, guys. It's a target-rich environment. That's how you need to think about it. It's a target-rich environment. Psy zombie, baseless, elite lancer, and then this good old gatekeeper. Okay, cool. Just out of curiosity, if we were to bombard, on well, seven to eight points of damage, reduced by armor, of course. So that's likely not going to happen. Stun Lancer, on the other hand, needs to die as well. So we do have a few problems here. Let's start with the Stun Lancer because he's our biggest problem. Like I said, a complete menace to society. That's a critical hit. We got to be careful here with Steve taking a bit of a beating. Potentially not going to join combat this turn. Oh, we could have school mined him. Should have checked that in advance. But he's down to four hit points. So what we're going to do here is just combat protocol. Straight up killing him, not taking any chances. Okay, so that's two down, uh, one down. Still got to know how we're dealing with both of these guys. I think we can start with agreeing that a chain shot is a good idea. Faces one dies. There we go. That's one more down. Hundred percent chance to hit that gatekeeper, and that's also what we're going to do. Reloading. I think he's a bit too close, to be honest, to Zirkim. So Zirkim will do a tactical retreat. This car is about to explode. Gatekeeper. Not down yet. And it comes down to the wire, uh, wire again. Gatekeeper, we have a grenade. Any form of uh, secure damage, we don't. Come on. <clears throat> Not even a stock.
I wish we could do something meaningful here. Gatekeeper with one hit point. This is going to be tragic. They s ooh, ooh. Well, well. Who destroyed all of the cover? That's not good. Not even mad about the blade storm. Mind control. I would low key hope that that actually works. Oh. Thank goodness. Because now we're no longer the main target. Of course, who Cougar is. And he will take a beating. Ouch. Okay. I mean, it's bad, but it is not as bad as it could have been. Okay, Skull Mine would be one option. Another one would be to use our beautiful flashbang grenade. Intense. That is some intense situation here. Advent, Purifier, Heavy Mech, not good enough for the Priest. I hate to say it, but I think this year is actually the best play. Move Moving up into cover. And Flashbanging this guy. Flash, out. All right, disorientation done. What's the biggest threat? We got to clean clean up the field as much as possible. I hate that he super heavy mech here. An actual problem. The others are a problem as well. Okay. Full cover. Oh. And let's start with the normal mag. That's a decent hit. a kill and we still got a pistol shot potentially not good enough to kill the purifier though we could move to here and teach this guy who's boss and move to here but that's flankable We can also try to move really behind our lines. This here is a chance to kill. That should do the trick. We're being spotted out, but that's okay that because they only have like one option to reach us. Elite Purifier could die. Oh, it's one more threat eliminated. Now, the question is, can we hit and kill this guy? I mean, bombarding would force him to be on low ground. There would be an explosion. 
and he would be shredded. So that's not the the worst option. And I can deal with I can uh, I can deal with Zirkum right afterwards. Not let's not move up too close because I don't want the second bombardment to hit both of us. I think we're actually positioned reasonably well there. Because we're out of line of sight of uh, the priest and the priest is far enough away. Might as well move to here. That way we are ensuring that the priest is not going to reach us. Because it is currently disoriented. Not sure if this is going to explode the car. It is certainly going to put him onto lower ground. The fact that the computer calculates so long tells me it sort of is exploding the car. Interesting to see how the explosion happened before he fell down. <laughs> But we're moving up in full cover. And 50-50 to kill the priest. <coughs> Would have taken that any day of the week. That's not flanking. That is not flanking. Okay, we're good. We're good. Got a bit of overwatch here. Okay, a couple of things that we need to take care of. Number one, pesky pesky mech. Gotta be super careful. I don't want to move in and hit the mech. This here is maximum range. Okay, good hit, good hit. And I think we do have a, a stock here, right? Yeah, advanced stock. Okay, cool. So we're moving up. And that's a 100% kill. Oh boy, what a battlefield. Let's see if we can get rid of the Overwatch. We very much can. Fantastic hit. She is burning. Moving over. And let's nail that priest. Settle down, you're fine. Did we just oh my gosh, I just healed Sue Cougar instead of myself. Well, Kids, that happens if you are not manually controlling every single thing. He's still burning. And eight protocol, um, common protocol.
Status 1-5, status confirmed. We're not picking up any additional contacts. The AO is clear. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. That's the type of uh, B-5 that you are looking for. We're still losing our kind of plus one soldiers. And everybody gets heavily wounded. But at the end, we're kind of making it out alive. Okay. Okay. Wow, what a mission. Still did not get a promotion on Primus. Wow. 13 days, 10 days, 11 days, 3 days. Everybody except the sniper got shafted again. And luckily we got our bigger armor. Yeah, the lower hit points and the less prominent abilities really really showcase that, for instance, we're not having a, an as good um, reset and cleanup mechanic as we typically would have. Good, we got quite a few civilians, autoloader, datapad, unfortunately no core, which I was hoping we would get. So neither rage suit nor blue screen protocol currently. <sighs> I'm not sure what I um, if I like or dislike the current kind of state of missions. That was a normal, very difficult mission uh, that typically doesn't even break a sweat. But with the tools given, holy shit, it felt intense. I like it. Good. We do not have enough intel, so we can't make contact, really. We could try to heal faster. Is that really something that we want to do? Potentially not. They are going to heal anyways. Let's gain some intel. Because I want to get the bonus of Asia as well. Okay. We're going to slow them down. We'll need to move fast. Could do a. Uh, we could do this a mission soon-ish. It certainly is impressive looking. Fantastic. So that oh, allows us to get tier three of the sure melee upgrades, which were overdue. Let's get a data bed for Intel because we could use that at the moment. I think it's a smart, w uh, smart thing to do. Plus, we currently can't do the plasma lands anyways. That would be the next big thing. Begin our research immediately. And then Sectopod, basically for tier 3 hacking. We completed our research in remarkable there we go, 70 time. intel. Greetings, Commander. Good, Sectopod, we're continuing the that. Of the Chosen's creation by the Elders will like Good. Jessica Jones just removed all of her traits. She's going to be the one who gets the promotion mission right after higher learning. So that's good. And people are starting to recover, which isn't bad either. Okay, but we can't yet remove negative traits. I know that one of our soldiers from the B team has gotten a negative trait as well. Good, we got enough intel, which now will motivate me to make contact here. Available communications capacity. We can't establish any new contact until we upgrade our systems. And this will finally give us the, I think, double, what is it? Yeah, volunteer army. We already got the double um, agent bonus. Local regional contact. So a couple of extra fur, um, extra guerrilla ops here. Loyalty among thieves, that is neglectable. 102 intel, might not be a bad reward to be honest. And a hidden event. I'm not going to do a protect the device mission, so that's off the table, thank you. Archon Prime again, and likely going to meet the Hunter here. 
not sure likely but other than that it looks doable so that's going to be our next mission in terms of overall status the next covert ops action will allow us to get jessica jones to that colonel rank so where is she there she, there she is and then we only need one more mission to kind of increase the bond one covert ops mission so that should be that should be doable we still need primos to kind of get to the colonel rank as well that guy by now has 110 kills almost lots and lots of missions so yeah hopefully hopefully we will do that i'm going to continue feeding him kills in terms of rage suit that would be the next thing that we need and we would equip that rage suit to our specialist here frodo because um, frodo has salvo and with a rage suit we could have a heavy weapon of course with a rage suit we also would need um, experimental heavy uh, weapons so that he essentially could use that yeah we'll we'll eventually get there okay anyways it looks good guys although the fights are getting more and more tough and the missions are getting longer and longer thanks for watching if you enjoy the choose to lose campaign leave a comment down to like down below that always helps the channel and see you in the next run bye bye